Hello friends and welcome to another replay. This time it's by Lost That Love and Feeling. He's one of my friends and I've known him for a while. A uh, good player, excellent person. Um, right now you see him playing the Object 140, a tier 10 Soviet medium. Uh, one of them, uh, one of the three. Time to roll out. This map is airfield and activating cruise control and you have the T-57 Heavy sitting like a bot doing absolutely nothing. And one thing Lars usually do is he does what most good players do. He looks around, looks at what tanks he got on his team versus what the enemy has, um, he looks at where these guys are, are supposed to, to go, they should, should be here instead of going back there, and that's something that he was worried about, and you see him coming to this location, and why, because he wants to light this area, and see if he can have shots on the campers in the back but seriously um, what is that T-54 lightweight doing in the back? I mean had he been around here he would probably be lighting the uh, the beach line the KJ lines but no he's sitting way back in a sniper position to snipe I think um, the heavies that might be coming through the uh, DE line, which is absolutely useless. No one should ever do that in a lightweight, that's just poor play. And now we see our d heavies, they finally managed to get to where they needed over here but there's still an SDI in the back probably covering down the uh, D line another thing we noticed that no scouts went to this area up in the north so no one's contesting those um, and why did Lars decide to go down this way instead of going where those guys First the area is too congested. If he went over there, he'd be in the crossfire where this conqueror is and these guys. Also, he'd be uh, an easy target for what might be sitting on that side over there. On D9. And I lost that level of feeling those heat. What is Mars? And he's seen how terribly his team is playing, especially the heavies and the lightweights. And so, yeah, many people pressured into using premium rounds just to cover for the mistakes of their own team. And in this case, that's what lots to do. That one didn't go through. Alright, so what we've seen him do shoot on the tracks, that's space off this Heat rounds probably will not go. However, the only thing he could have done is track him, keep him tracked, and stay in position so the, the sniper TDs can do something, but they did play at all. from the E-100, it just brought his hit points down so much, it's not even funny. The E-100 is another tank that, you know, you feel compelled to use the heat rounds against. We didn't penetrate their armor! I mean, 
heat rounds have 330 penetration mark and still he was not able to penetrate the front of his uh, turret. And now we see T95 making a big mistake. Where he went, he exposed his side to the E100, exposed the lower plate to the M103 and the E75. Enemy armor is damaged. That's just bad. Double kill. Gotcha. Now that was a good job. That's one thing the, uh, one of, one of the 140 excels is these snapshots. It's just uh, so accurate. Shot already. One of our tracks is damaged. Two hundred twenty Chinese tier uh, nine managed to uh, deliver a very good hit actually, and uh, managed to escape. But look at this! Look at this! Enemy armor is damaged. That's patience and precision to shoot between the turret and the hull it's just awesome it's beautiful T30 delivered his shot and the 1704 driving it to the uh, his cut position over here a bit prematurely and he got punished for it Formidable tanks in this game. Probably one of the scariest, if not the scariest tank. Ready to fire! Carry it on! Enemy armor is hit! As long as the Death Star comes over, Ultra kill. he bounces off, off it and. He doesn't really run away because he knows his snipers will just eat him alive. And if he strike, probably Artie will do it. That one didn't go through. Also, what we what we need to know is uh, the 183 became much slower a few patches back after the nerf. Yet the armor oh, was yeah. probably I would have saved some uh, heat rounds for that for that one vehicle. Now, Lars ignores the object on uh, 704. Why? Because his base is compromised, he doesn't have many people to defending, and the Object 704 his, on his team is quite sufficient enough to face the enemy 704. Okay, so our 704 delivered a good hit. That eliminated the T-49, which would have been a pain in the neck. And Target acquired. Enemy armor is damaged. I'm guessing the oh, was reloading. And that's why he typed in chat that he was amoracked. And he again delivered this one big hit. From the RT, which it must be RNG. There's no way RT aimed it this perfectly. Absolutely no way. After killing the Fosh 155, you get probably three seconds where you stay lit. But no one, the uh, um, the crew on that uh, unlost uh, 140, he should he should have been. Camod a while back, like maybe a second after. We're immobilized. 
Again, and we see a case of cowardice and bad play by the 704 on Lost Light Love and Feelings. Uh, Drive on. Absolutely poor play. He could have taken a shot from the 704 and traded his hit boss with him. And instead, no, he tries to run away, drops down. <laughs> Literally, he threw away the ball. And what we see in Five he kept driving running. away from the seven the enemy and exposing his back and his sides instead of turning around and try to move backward reversing no he just gave gave way to the enemy that's an absolute case of poor play by this guy and it's just sad I mean taking out the object 704 the enemy and then leaving only the artillery you think the artillery probably will go drown himself um, suicide or something you know uh, and then you probably would have two enemies versus one in which the enemy artillery will have to fire one round and then what you kill one tank and then you have a big reload time where the second tank will go kill him, but nope. This is a case where this particular tank just threw away the game. And Lost still sits, you know, with this tank because he's right now spewing anger, furious over this bad play. And I do not blame him at all. I probably would be more vulgar in chat. Um, or just, you know, I don't know. I know what to say. And enemy Artie succeeds in uh, resetting. And that was absolutely unfortunate. And the Conway has only one Three chance minutes of left. only going to the enemy and try to reset. But the Conway decides to go around instead of over. So we can light the 704 and deliver a shot. Which doesn't matter. Because Conway ran out of ammunition. He might have well just sat on cap and got some XP. Lost. Uh, you really lost this one. And I'm sorry. Good performance. 5600 damage. That in game was shows. And the 704 is still over there dead. And he was the one, you know, who could have literally carried after you had died, but so unfortunate. Well, let's go to after battle stats. At the uh, ace tanker because he had died, but he did collect the top, top gun. Uh, five for effect and duelist. He was second in damage with 5,664. Six kills, 1217 XP. Conway, 6,213 with three kills. Maximum damage, maximum XP, but still. 35 rounds sh fired and um, 24 of them were direct hits, only 16 penetration um, what a shame really I'm not sure what this achievement is for but whatever it is it, it seems like a nice thing all that heat and because it's a tier 10 um, you didn't get much uh, credit but, all in all, it's not bad. Thank you for sending me this replay, it was enjoyable and um, 
very unfortunate uh, good luck to you buddy and um, thank you for sending me this replay I hope everyone enjoys it and I hope you guys liked it um, thank you and uh, see you next time